We are White Lies, and we're talking about the art of listening with Rumfeld. You know, I think we probably wrote about 30 songs for this album, and that was definitely very different. We'd never done that before. We would get together in the, in the morning, sometimes for a couple of hours, sometimes even longer, would sit in my kitchen and we'd listen to music. And eventually you'll hear a song or you hear a moment in a song and you think, oh, that's really cool, that's something we could do. And I love working that way. With White Lies, we have a really, really eclectic taste. It really is everything, you know, black metal to chart pop music and classic rock or jazz or anything like that. With our first record, obviously, there was a lot of comparisons thrown around to, you know, new wave bands and Joy Division and things like that. We've used, uh, certainly on this record and the last one, we've used a lot of sounds and, and songwriting kind of techniques that bands like that would never, ever have used. The record is much more diverse in that, in that respect. The songs, there's some which which sound like old White Lies songs and there's some which sound nothing like any compar comparable song from our back catalogue, I don't think. The song Hold Back Your Love, it's just one of those ones where as I listen to it, kind of like tick boxes. <laughs> I'm like, nice verse, great, good groove, good chorus. Oh, even a good middle section, wow, that's surprising. <laughs> um, and I think it's, uh, I think we're gonna release it as a single. Having had some smaller bookshelf speakers for a while and then moving to these ones, I was like, oh, actually, yeah, it's nice to listen to, I don't know, some, some like heavy rock and actually get all the, all the low end. It feels like they've been built as hi-fi speakers and then the digital aspect has been layered on top of it. Yeah, one thing I like about these is in comparison to other speakers that do similar things is that these are stereo. I don't really know how those other... Uh, those other those other speakers work. I don't know what they do to the songs. You know, when you listen to certain music on those speakers, it sounds strange. It sounds mm. it doesn't kind of yeah. something weird's going on there. So it's really nice to have a stereo pair as well. And the little unit I have in my kitchen is is cool as well. I like having something in there which I can also ping through into here, listen to it at the same time, and um, and it's waterproof and all that sort of stuff. So I don't I don't worry about like anything when I'm listening to it. And it just it's a nice experience. It is basically quite badass as well to be able to set up the same music playing in every room. You can kind of wander around and uh, change the sheets and the same music's playing as when you're in the bathroom crying, <laughs> crying. <laughs> <laughs> and in the kitchen crying. I just find myself listening to music a lot more because it's easy. Every waking moment that I'm in my apartment, I'm listening to music, which is great. Punctual. 